Hello future officers, did you know that India's opium policy just got a major update for 2025-26? Here's what you need to know. The union government announced the annual licensing policy for the crop year 2025-26 that is during the opium crop year from 1st of October 2025 to 30th of September 2026 to grant license for the cultivation of opium poppy for the farmers in the state of MP, Rajasthan, UP under strict government control. The new licensing policy covers 1.2 lakh farmers, a 23.5% increase from last year. That is, it brings approximately 15,000 additional farmers into the fold who are expected to benefit from opium cultivation this year. Now let's see about the key features. Farmers with 4.2 kg per hectare morphine yield can continue gum opium cultivation, while those with 3 to 4.2 kg per hectare can now grow unlaced poppy straw under the CPS method. License would be valid for 5 years. Digitized records since 1995 would help marginal farmers qualify. Now for the incentives and penalties, high-performing farmers with 900 kg per hectare poppy straw yield can switch to gum opium, but those below 800 kg per hectare in CPS will face license suspension from this year. Apart from this, India's opium sector is going global. Nimmuch factory now has WHO GMP certification and it's all part of Make for the World vision. Now since opium is in the news, so you need to know some of the deeds about opium. Scientific name of opium poppy is Papaver somniferum, belonging to the family Papaveraceae. The economic product is latex, and the latex contains different alkaloids like morphine, codeine, etc. Method of harvesting opium is known as lancing, and lancing is done on unripe seed capsules. The milky latex that oozes out is used for alkaloid extraction. For more such content, follow C4S, like, share, and subscribe.